Well, it's not your imagination. It has been a very wet start to the year. Our annual average precipitation is just about 14 and a half inches. So far this year, we have picked up more than 15 inches of precipitation, putting us at 104% of the annual precipitation. So we couldn't see another drop of rain or another drop of snow the rest of the year, and we would still be above average. It's just unbelievable the moisture we have seen so far this year. Outside the city park this afternoon, you'll notice mostly cloudy conditions throughout the Denver metro area, and we are seeing much cooler temperatures today as well. It's a different story, though, up in Glenwood Springs where we're seeing sunshine and blue skies on this Wednesday, but we are expecting some showers and storms to move in later today. On the first alert satellite and radar, clouds on the eastern half of the state, including the front range, but out to the west, that's where we're seeing the sunshine and clear skies and dry conditions right now. Closer look at the Denver metro area, Few showers just outside of Bailey and Conifer right now, and we're expecting the rain to move in here later this afternoon. Temperatures staying on the cool side today for this time in July. 65 at the airport, 62 downtown, and winds are light out of the southeast at 12 miles per hour. As you put the future cast into motion, it's a rinse and repeat. Those showers and storms will move in later this afternoon into the front range and then push off to the eastern plains. We'll see clearing overnight tonight with mostly cloudy skies overnight as those storms clear out. Once again, another chance to see some severe weather today. Best chance for severe weather is going to be south of the Denver metro area. So Jefferson, Douglas, Elbert County, that is the best chance to see severe weather. Our main concern is hail up to two inches and wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. The main thing you're gonna notice today though, the cooler weather out there. Look at these daytime highs only in the low to mid 60s throughout the front range today, well below where we should be for this time of year in July. On the eastern plains, we'll see 60s and 70s and up in the high country, it's going to be warmer in places like Vail and Aspen compared to here in the Denver metro area, if you can believe it, with temperatures in the high country in the 70s and 80s today and very summer like weather out on the western slope in the mid 90s. Overnight tonight, we'll see those storms Storms clear out, leaving behind mostly cloudy skies. We'll drop down to the 50s here in the Front Range, 50s and 60s out on the Eastern Plains, and mainly in the 40s up in the high country with 50s and 60s out to the west. And then tomorrow, the warm weather returns. We'll be back in the low 80s, still about 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year, but much warmer compared to today. And tomorrow, a better chance for severe weather here in the Denver metro area, and especially along the Eastern Plains where we have an enhanced risk of severe weather tomorrow. Out on the western slope tomorrow, we do have a fire weather watch that's already been issued. We could see wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour and humidity under 12%. So you wanna make sure and avoid any outdoor burning tomorrow over on the western slope. On the super seven day forecast, the low 80s continued as we wrap up the week with a slight chance to see showers on Friday. We'll keep that around on Saturday. And then finally on Sunday, we start feeling a bit more summer-like with temperatures in the upper 80s and a drier weather pattern setting up into next week where we'll see 90s starting on Monday through Wednesday next week with much drier weather expected.